Liam, not not classic uh, by any stretch of the imagination, but the bottom line is your side is through to the last 16. Yeah, I think obviously delighted to go through. I think uh, and looking at the game, it's not easy. You've got a lot of guys, you know, that have that have been out with either illness or injury, and you know, aren't aren't up to speed when it comes to matches. So you know, I was actually relatively pleased with you know certain aspects. I thought, especially first half, there was there was moments where I thought we had real control of the game. Uh, not quite the final bit, the chance at the end, but in terms of back and mid third, I thought we really controlled the game uh, and caused them problems in terms of the, the possession we had. Uh, like I say, it was then just the final bit of, you know, creating the chance or taking the chance. So, and then yeah, second second half as expected, you know, match rhythm's not quite there. Um, but but what what the guys did show is that real desire to work, to compete, to fight, to dig in, um, and and you know, come away with a clean sheet. In terms of you know. We, it's an opportunity to, to impress, to stand out. So, and I think I think what the guys know of us, we're not going to nail anybody for making mistakes. It's, you know, it's about being brave to, you know, make positive decisions. And you know, there, were, there was moments where they did it, and then moments when they wasn't, uh, they didn't do it. And I think you know, the elements are, you know, I don't want to make excuses, but sometimes for the guys, it is difficult when you've not, you're not in a rhythm and you haven't played. I'm just on Brooklyn Alunga, who's you know still learning and still you know getting as much experience as he can. He seemed to come out of his shell a little bit more in the second half. He seemed to try things and 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 maybe have a bit more success with things in the second half than he did in the first. Yeah, and Brook, Brook's on progress. I think if you know, I think back to the first game he played in this competition. You know where he where he was at tonight compared to then. He has shown progress, and you know he's a, he's a terrific kid with a terrific attitude. And you know the challenge for him and for us is to you know really push him and to make sure that he learns the game, learns the position, and understands you know how he imposes. Uh, his qualities on the game and you know you saw that in flashes tonight and it's now about can he can he do it more consistently so yeah he, he's definitely one that's shown progress and the, you know one that, that needs to keep pushing. Franco made a good save as well didn't he tipping it onto the bar in the first half. Yeah and no, no, it was very similar to, to the one at the end the end of the game so yeah 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 he was solid Franco I thought you know he, the, the bits he had to do he did well um, so yeah he was uh, I was pleased with Franco tonight. Troy's red card talk us through that. Just a lack of discipline ultimately whether the you know, I think their, their lad raises his hand, but you almost go, so, so what? You, you don't then retaliate and respond like you do. So, yeah, it's just a, a complete lack of discipline for me. Um, and then, obviously, going through for a penalty shootout, it's always an enjoyable thing for the fans, for you, for the players. You know, that's a, that's a bonus tonight, isn't it? To go through, but to go through five penalties out of five, you must be really pleased with that. Yeah, definitely, and I thought they were good penalties as well. I thought, you know, the guys, you know, showed good composure, took their time and did what they needed to do. And, you know, yeah, like you say, great for the fans, especially in front of them, you know, for t t to finish the game like that uh, leaves them hopefully in a, in a positive mood going home. Do you have a, I mean, this is way too early to start talking about the next round, but, but last 16, it starts to, I don't know, it just starts to get a little bit more interesting round by round, this one, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll, we'll take it game by game, you know, you know me, um... <laughs> <laughs> don't think too far ahead. I don't get carried away. Um, you, you can keep pushing me this year. Hopefully, I won't change. But no, look, you know, it's, it's good to progress. I think you know any competition you're in. I've said it from day one that we want to win games. We want a, a culture where, yeah, w winning is you know paramount to what we do. And you know, I thought we we did well in that front tonight, obviously. And uh, finally, super now to have that little bit of a break, a little bit of little bit of rest back potentially. There's been so much going on with the amount of games, the amount of away games with COVID that has been an issue, with illness, with injury. You've got a little bit of time now, a week and that extra day I suppose, just to get everyone together and, and look forward to that Plymouth game. Yeah, definitely. It's really important. We're off obviously the back of a real heavy period with you know, the, the travelling as, as well as the games, you know, just the, the, the late nights, the, the time sat down on a coach. So. I think you know it was it was good we were able to make some changes tonight. I think it you know it shows the depth that we've got as well with people being able to step in and you know and sustain a level. Um, and now it's all, all attention to you know Plymouth for making sure that we we do everything we can you know physically, mentally, tactically to make sure we're as fresh as possible going into that week. Because yeah, Wednesday, Saturday is a, a you know another full-on period. So we need to do everything we can. We need the whole squad. We need to make sure everybody's good to go. Cheers, man. Thank you. Um, Luke mentioned it there, the five out of five penalties. Um, is that something you, you guys practice? The guys do, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> to, be, to be totally honest, uh, yeah, I think it's, it's one of them when you're a player, you, you'll often see them staying out and doing it. And, you know, we, we just spoke around in terms of, you know, take your time, wait for the whistle to go, you know, don't then rush into it, pick your spot, don't change your mind, and then, you know, be, be real confident with it. And, you know, I thought it was some really good penalties. It's good to have that level of composure is it, uh, as well, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, it. Yeah, who knows what happens in future rounds, you know, being able to, uh, you know, if it comes to that again in the future, you know, having that experience will hopefully, you know, put us in a good position. And what are you like during penalty shootouts? Are you, are you one to watch? Are you one to look away? Uh, I watched tonight. I was actually relatively calm, to be to be fair. Um, so, 
Yeah, I think it's also having faith and confidence in the guys and, you know, having their backs, whatever the outcome. Um, you mentioned, um, you know, sometimes there's a little bit of lack of cohesion with some of the new guys coming in or some of the, the fringe players coming in. Is, is, do you think that's what you saw tonight, that, you know, they're not necessarily used to playing with each other? At times, I thought, de de definitely at times, but then I thought at times when it clicked, um, you know, I remember one, one first half where Josh and Josh and Ethan combined to then work it through Hiram to Troy and then, you know, we were out and I thought, you know, there, were, there was actually some really good moments where we did that a few times. Um, and that, 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 that's what I think you find sometimes is, you know, an action that's an 8 out of 10 and then it drops off, you know, sometimes. And we said to the guys afterwards, our quality. And I think, you know, how we want to play is, you know, difficult. It's, you know, when you, when you, when you look at, you know, styles in football is probably the hardest way to play and you know if you want to do that you have to make sure that you know you're, you're thinking quick and then you can execute you know the the pass the action with you know the required level of quality and that, that that's the biggest thing and that's the, the exciting thing for us that we can improve and get better um, and just finally eight players in team of the week that's unheard of isn't it yeah and credit credit to the guys to be fair you know uh, it was obviously a really good weekend i thought you know and Back to us in terms of what we want to, how we want to play, and obviously a, a result to match that. So yeah, was was really pleased off the weekend, and then you know, again, re really pleased for the guys again tonight. Um, you know, it's not, like I say, it's not easy for some of the guys to you know go a period of time and not playing. So you know, to come in tonight in a competitive game, um, you know, it's, it's it's good for the squad, it's good for the culture that you know everybody everybody plays their part. Were you ringing around to see why you weren't manager of the team of the week? <laughs> I, I, I'll be totally honest. I don't look at those things. I'll I'll stay away from that. I'll head down and work.